what we found is that clients and businesses over the last few years have been very focused on driving efficiencies and productivity within their organizations. And this has often looked at things like raw materials around uh, production and, and other kinds of costs. But often the people component has not been considered and or overlooked. And what we've realized is that this has often been the highest cost of many organizations in terms of the monthly or weekly payroll. Um, therefore, what we've seen is that the need for a people resource planning solution whereby companies can now better manage their people, being more efficient and being more productive, um, is making a difference to their bottom line. And, you know, it, it varies from organization to organization, but we're seeing on, on average around a 10 to 15 percent saving from a payroll perspective. And um, this is not a case of um, paying anyone less or having a big brother approach and sort of ensuring people are arriving or leaving for work. That's just one component is the time and attendance. It's really about the, fish, the efficient um, use of one's workforce and ensuring that um, you are using them as, as productively and efficiently as possible. Well, we've been um, operating in this uh, space um, since 2008 and over these five or six years um, we've identified um, a few key pain points that customers experience around people management. I'll just quickly go through those um, with you. Um, the first one is controlling and managing productivity. And actually that could be the, the KPI, key performance indicator of any manager. Um, key goal is to achieve um, productivity um, in goals in the team that you as a manager are, are, are managing. Um, the second pain point that we, we've encountered at our customers is um, actual labor costs exceeding budgeted costs. We found that um, people costs are extremely difficult to, to budget for and to, to control against the budget. Um, third one that we, we find is high back office costs. So we find that um, the processes around managing people, because they've traditionally been manual, are quite um, uh, time intensive. Um, they're also prone to error. So a lot of time is spent doing the admin around, for example, processing the payroll. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's prone to error as well in a manual um, process, one can also spend a lot of time doing rework, um, handling queries and doing rework after the fact. Um, fourth uh, pain point that we, we commonly um, find at our, our customers and potential customers is overstaffing and understaffing of teams. So it's a challenge operationally to ensure that you have exactly the right number of, of people where you need them, when you need them. And especially if you have a seasonal business um, that has variability in the demand and also times of the year like now um, where you may have uh, flu epidemics mm -hmm. um, where, where absenteeism is unpredictable. Um, so being able to in an environment like that ensure that you have the right number of people at the right place at the right time is, is a pain point. Um, compliance is a big issue for many of our customers. Um, you typically, um, in terms of managing your staff, you'd need to first of all comply with the legal requirements, um, basic conditions of employment for example. Um, you may have um, company policies that need to be implemented and complied to wherever you operate. Um, and also the individual uh, employment contracts that need to be adhered to and, and managed. And then the last one in terms of the pain points is um, risk management um, and mitigation. The obvious example there would be um, in the mining industry. Um, to know exactly at any particular time, if there's an emergency, where is everybody? Who, who do I need to account for? Who was working on that shift? Mm -hmm. Who was down the mine shaft? Um, so risk management and mitigation is also a key pain point around um, and challenge around managing people. Mm -hmm. What we've done is, um, We've used the technology um, to come up with, a, with an automated way to address these, these, these pain points. So in terms of, for example, um, I mentioned controlling and managing productivity. What we do with the PRP solution is provide managers with real-time information when there's a variation from plan. Um, that enables you as a manager to, take, to be proactive and to take action quickly 
to ensure that your targets and your product your targets are met and your productivity is achieved. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of controlling costs, we the, the the system supports budgeting and costing. So we support three levels of managing costs. Your budget around labor and staff um, is loaded up into the system. Your operational managers will load up their operational plans. When are they going to work, what shifts, what shift plans, and so on. And our system then automatically applies the rules, the payroll rules, to that operational plan. So it can immediately, in real time, flag if your plan is going to exceed your budget. Mm -hmm. And then the third level is to track the actuals. So the actual work done by your employees day to day and to cost that as well and compare that against your plan. Okay. So if anything goes wrong, you'll be able to get an alert uh, very quickly and take corrective action. Mm -hmm. And that's really, there's no other way really to manage your budget uh, to, towards a plan, to achieving, to achieving your budget. Um, the back office costs, the high back office costs, that pain point, the way that we address that is through automation. So our system has a rules engine. It, it, um, it calculates in advance what your payroll um, data will be. You can check that at any time. And when it comes to processing the payroll, there's no recapturing of the data. Um, the, the permitted managers, designated managers can check reports in the system. If they're happy, they push the button and we automatically load that up into payroll. So it's quick and there are no errors and no rework. Mm -hmm. Um, overstaffing and understaffing on, of teams, the way we address that is we have sophisticated scheduling tools available online in the system. And uh, these type of tools are quite mature in some industries, so for example in call centers, security industry um, would be two examples of where um, this type of planning approach is used. But the key difference with our solution is we make that type of planning available across all industries. Um, and in addition, uh, in addition to that, we provide real-time feedback once that plan is done of the adherence of your actual operations to that plan. And we'll again provide alerts if things are going off plan. In terms of compliance, ensuring compliance to labor regulations, employment contracts, company policies, the way we achieve that is it's a rules-based system. So we set up your business rules around managing people in the system and then those rules get applied consistently and accurately wherever you operate. Mm -hmm. So that's how we achieve the compliance and in fact guarantee compliance once you've set up the system. And then in terms of risk management and mitigation it comes back to the real-time capabilities of the system. So if there's an emergency I've got live data in the system I can at my desk uh, push a button draw a report or on my cell phone pick up a, a report I know exactly which people were working on that shift and need to be accounted for. Mm -hmm. So I can take action immediately. I don't have to go and hunt around for manual attendance registers, registers to try and get that information. We work very closely with both our existing clients as well as new clients. And the process that we go through is that um, when engaging with them, we are often dealing with the business owners and or financial people within the organization. What we are able to do is through our sales team and or our business development team, we take this information back to our R&D and we, our research and development team and we ensure that our system remains relevant and is addressing the, um, the ongoing changes within organizations from a people management perspective.